Hello friends, my name is Dunia Villanueva and I'm a licensed clinical social worker with Miami-Dade County Public Schools Department of Early Childhood Programs. I'm going to talk to you about feelings and the importance of emotional literacy. So what is that? Emotional literacy is the ability to identify, understand, and express emotions in a healthy way. So research has shown that children who have a strong foundation in emotional literacy are better able to tolerate frustration, engage in fewer arguments and fights, are demonstrate less disruptive behavior, are healthier, demonstrate less impulsivity, are more focused, and have more academic achievement. So let's talk about feelings. It's important to let our children know that feelings change throughout the day and you don't have to feel the same way as someone else does about the same thing. So again, referencing our amazing website down below that we have all of our resources at and you can download our feelings faces, our feelings chart. It's available in English and in Spanish. So this is a visual that you can utilize with your children to explain to them what it would look like when a child is frustrated, what it would look like if they're sad. You can check in with children not only once a day how they're feeling, but throughout the day. And if you notice your child's mood changing or their feelings changing, because at the end of the day, you are your child's most important educator and their lifelong teacher. You know your child better than anyone else. You know when your child needs a little extra attention. So you can begin to teach your child how they're feeling. You can use direct teaching, so you can see your child's expression and label it for them. You can also utilize indirect teaching by reading a book and expressing how the character might be feeling or even how a sibling might be feeling. That is indirect teaching. But the important thing is to label what the child is experiencing at the moment at a visceral level so the child begins to hear the word, what this feeling is called. So. Stay tuned for additional tips from Miami-Dade County Public Schools Department of Early Childhood Programs and continue to check out our website for updated resources. Thank you, friends.